Why am I sad? Because the shield, they are so useless. They literally do nothing except block. And that is all. I want to have a cool shield. All I can use my shield for is to block my mama when she brings the spaghetti that I do not like. I want the shield to be so much more. So I devoted my life to making a better shield. And now I can show you all how you can upgrade your shield to be a super powered. So now I am happy. <laughs> Why am I doing an Italian villager? <laughs> Scrap this. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Anyway, now that our Italian blacksmith friend, uh, Spaghetti Man, I don't have a name for him, but yeah, anyway, now that he's come up with a way to upgrade shields, guys, we're gonna borrow that or, or, or steal it, I'm just saying. He's got some pretty cool ideas, including being able to coat your shield in gold, diamond, obsidian even, and make it light up on fire, make it have a face that actually shoot things, basically make shields actually... Awesome, guys. So I'm really looking forward to today's video if you're looking forward to it. And you know what? You liked Mr. Italian Blacksmith Man who came up with this idea. Well, go ahead. Leave a like on today's video with 10,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you are on your channel, one of the coolest Minecraft features before any of your friends, including, obviously, how to upgrade shields. And make sure to slap the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload. But it is time to show you guys how you can upgrade shields in Minecraft. Now, as you guys can see here, this is the Italian Blacksmith of Spaghetti Man. I really need to come up with a name for him guys, but Spaghetti Man works in this blacksmith here, and he's come up with an ingenious way to upgrade shields. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. What are you doing here? Go away, Mr. Creeper. I don't want you blowing up this blacksmith's place and us losing all the secrets on how to upgrade shields. All right, are you gonna, are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? This creeper's invincible, guys. Oh my gosh, she disappeared. I don't have this gunpowder. Whoa, look at that, guys. Anyway, so as you guys can see, we've got the Blacksmith Forge up here, and this is what's going to allow us to basically turn our shields into a fire shield, which is pretty flippin' awesome. But first, we just need to upgrade the regular shield, guys. So the regular shield, I'm sure most of you know, is very, very simple to make. So let's go ahead and make one real quick here. You build it like this, bang, bang, and there we go. That is our shield. I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with this design. It kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, guys. All it does is you can, I guess you can block things, but this is really not that useful, especially when you get into like later parts of the game. And on top of that, uh, yeah, it doesn't have good durability. It doesn't look very cool. It's just kind of boring, guys. So yeah, we want to upgrade this shield. Now, right at the moment, it's not really in a position to be upgraded. It's got this iron frame and it's got these bolts in the side, which you guys can see. Not gonna give us many options to upgrade. Great it. So what we want to actually do is strip away all that iron and just have the wood. How do you do that? You say, well, luckily my Italian friend Spaghetti Man Villager has come up with an ingenious way to make a base shield. And he's come up with two base shield designs. So to do that, we're just going to need wood. Unlike the other design which uses iron, guys, what you're going to need to do is grab some sticks here. Our first base shield design looks a little bit like this. And ta-da, we get our wooden tower shield. Ooh, very, very cool. And as you guys can see, this is basically our uh, our regular shield, but with the iron and all that stuff stripped away. So that's going to give us a lot more flexibility uh, as far as upgrading goes. Now, there is another base shield you can make, which is a little bit different, and you do it in this diagonal form. And essentially, it is a base shield, but this one's a little bit smaller, and it's got this diagonal thing. This is not going to do as much uh, protection and it's not gonna be as durable. However, it is gonna give you a bit of extra agility, a bit more speed. So, you know, they have their advantages, guys, but this is our standard wooden tower shield, which is going to allow us to upgrade these bad boys. So let's go ahead and get into the upgrading process. We're gonna make a few more of these shields. As you guys can see, you can upgrade with cobblestone, iron, gold, diamond, and obsidian. So let's go ahead and grab all of these. I'm gonna show you all the differences and which ones are stronger and so on and so forth. You guys can probably take a little bit of a guess, but first we're just gonna make a ton of these base wooden shields for us to mess around with. So let's go ahead and create a few more of those. I'm gonna need just a few more sticks. Bang, boom, bing. Bing, bong, bang, boom, bap, bap, bing, bap, boop. There we go, guys. We're going to start off these base shields. Now that we've done that, we're going to start off by upgrading. So the first shield you guys can make is by reinforcing this uh, basic shield here 
with stone. Now, this has a max protection of 230, whereas your regular shield has a max protection of 104. Essentially, this means, guys, this is going to block more damage at a faster rate, and it's also going to knock back enemies just that little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab some zombie pigment. So we can just go ahead and experiment a little bit here. But if we go ahead, put down a zombie pigment, there we go. Bang. All right. Oh, I need to be in survival. I'm like, why is he not going to kill me? All right, there we go. As you guys, oh, we got it. There we go. All right. So as you guys can see, this has, you know, a decent amount of knockback. You know, it's not fantastic, but it is more than the regular shield will give you. And on top of that, having it reinforced in stone is going to give you a bit of extra durability. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, we, okay, no, please don't kill, please don't, zombie pigment. Okay, nap, 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 nap. Let's create it. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're safe now. So if we go ahead and jump back, guys, the next few upgrades are very similar in this fashion. Uh, they don't add any super cool, awesome features, but trust me, we'll, we'll get to the super awesome features in a sec, guys. Next one, obviously, reinforced with iron. This one's going to give you max protection of 538. Then, and that's also going to give you increased knockback, guys. Then we're going to go ahead, reinforce this with gold. This is 192. So this is not as strong as the stone or the iron shield, but I mean, come on. Flex a gold shield, you look like an absolute mad lad, guys. Like this, this is what the king uses, just because it looks cool. We got the bling bling shield. So there we go, we got our gold one. Then we have our iron shield. So let's go ahead, grab our wooden shield. We'll coat this one in, I, I said iron, I meant to say diamond. This has a max protection of 2,560. Holy flippin' moly, that is literally like uh, one, two, three, four, five times the amount of protection the Iron Tower Shield gives you. And finally, we're going to go ahead and coat this bad boy in Obsidian. I'm sure you guys can already guess. Look at this. 1,600 max protection. How is that going to give you a few extra things you guys can see here? Now, when it's in your main hand, it's going to decrease your speed. Because, I mean, you're carrying an Obsidian Shield. It's pretty heavy. But it's also going to give you 0.5 knockback resistance, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just test out. Oh, look at that diamond shield, guys. Now, this looks like I'm an absolute boss. We've also got our iron one here. So there's our iron one. Doesn't look as cool as the diamond one. And then we have our obsidian one. Now, you guys can see when I'm holding this, I am going to move just that little bit slower. But it is supposed to give me knockback protection. So let's go ahead and test this out on our good friend over here. All right, uh, zombie pigman man, I need you to come and run at me again. Please don't kill me, though. I would not appreciate it. All right, there we go. Come down, down here. Yep. yep, that's right. Hello, you come to me now. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we test, we test now. All right, hit me, go. Bang. All right, so as you guys can see, pretty much the same knockback. It's not too interesting, but this is supposed to, as you guys can see, basically the minute knockbacks, it comes straight back. It's going to knock back a lot more protection. You can see down there, the durability is insane. It's barely taking any damage. We also have here our obsidian shield. And look, with the other shields, guys, you get slightly pushed back just because of the knockback. But oh no, oh no, oh no. But as you guys can see, with this obsidian shield, we don't get pushed back at all. Just simply because it is an obsidian shield. It, it's unbreakable, unmovable. I'm on one heart. We're going to have to do this very, very carefully. All right, ready? And run, 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 run. Oh, I'm holding the obsidian shield. I'm slow. Oh my goodness. All right, run, 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 run. And switch to creative. Bang. Oh, look at those strats, guys. So, yeah, these are the upgraded shields. These are basic upgrades that you kind of expect, guys. Put better materials on it. It's going to give you better protection. But how about getting some shields that actually, like, give you new powers and allow you to fight with them? That'd be pretty awesome. Lucky for us, guys, we can go ahead and do that. So, let's go ahead and grab our obsidian shield here. Now, we got to check our obsidian shield into the fires. Here we go, guys, in three, two, one. Bloop. Did that do it? Wait, there it is, guys. Look at this oh my gosh guys this is the octane shield holy moly look up in the right it is durability of 1800 this thing looks so sick dang guys look at this bad boy this is a shield this doesn't look doesn't even look like a shield this thing looks like a whole door guys this looks like i'm actually holding a door this thing looks so cool but Looks are all cool and all, but does it actually do stuff, guys? So, we're going to need some test subjects. I'm feeling like some spiders are going to do just the thing. But I'm feeling like a bit of cooked spider. Why do you... Why do I say cooked, you guys may ask? Well, I think you're about to find out why I would like some cooked spider. Is that spider just... Di why did that spider just die? I, I honestly don't know. But look, guys, he was just scared of what's about to happen. Because if we go ahead and switch into survival real fast, let's go ahead and hit one of these guys. All right, check this out, guys. Shield up. Look at that, guys. He runs into the shield and uh, boom, boom, we got ourselves some cooked spider. Oh, look at this guy. Like, 
I don't even need to pull out a sword. This guy's literally going to keep trying to attack me. And, yeah, he's just going to burn to death. Look at that guy. Literally, I just need to walk up, walk around with the shield, guys. And if something tries to attack me... Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what was that what you were saying? You're saying it's a little bit hot over there, Mr. Spider? You f is that... What was that? You're feeling a little bit hot? Maybe you should stop hitting the shield. How funny is this, guys? The spiders... All mobs are just going to literally keep running into your fire shield and burn themselves up. You don't need to do any work. You just need to hold up your shield and chill. Now, it may get a little bit hot behind the shield, guys, but luckily it's not going to light you on fire. So, yeah, this Octane shield is pretty cool. Wouldn't it be great if there were more shields like this, guys? Because obviously we have these upgraded ones, but they don't give you any extra features. Well, luckily, Mr. Italian Blacksmith has come up with a few more shields. Check this out, guys. Obviously, there's the Octane shield we had, but there's also the Val Valonite shield. Uh, we have the Living Weedwood shield, the Simorite shield, the Bone shield, the Green Polished Den... Dentrothist shield. Holy moly, that was a big one. And the Lurker skin shield. So we've got a bunch of these really awesome shields, which I'll be telling you guys how you can get at the end of today's video. But first, let's just check out these awesome bad boys. So the first one for you guys is our Lurker skin shield. Now this thing looks very cool, looks very camo. I like, I like. But it has one extra use that's going to be... Uh, I guess you could say it's pretty useful if you like to explore and you don't want to carry around a boat. Check this out, guys. You can actually go ahead and use this thing as a boat. <laughs> Who said shields just had to be for protection? This one here is going to allow you to actually travel around on it, and I think that is pretty sick. It can be used as a raft, and then you can go ahead, jump out of the water, and then bang, it's gonna jump straight back into your offhand. You just go ahead, jump into the water here, click, and bang, now it's a boat. Boat shield? I don't know the difference. Well, at least this shield clearly has not figured out which one it is, but I think that's pretty, pretty sick that you can go ahead and use this as both a shield and a boat. Pretty sick. Our next one here is the Valonite shield. So let's go ahead and switch over to this one. As you guys can see, this one looks really, really cool. Looks like it's like some sort of ancient civilization or super like advanced technology people. I don't know, but what it does is pretty cool. So if we go ahead and uh, we need to find some mobs here, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to bring back the mobs. Okay, we got some mobs, particularly those of the shooting kind. Why? Because this shield, guys, can actually reflect projectiles. Watch this. Look at that, guys. Ready? Boom. Every time the skeleton shoots at me, it just goes right back in his face. Oh, we got some zombies joining the fray as well. But look at this, guys. I can go ahead and block these zombies. And every time... Okay, well, it didn't work that time. But if I face the shield towards the skeleton, the arrow just goes flying back in his face. And look at that. The skeleton literally just cooked himself. I feel, I, I almost feel bad for this poor skeleton here, guys. And we've got these, these zombies here. All right, just hold up. Hold up. I need to deal with these guys. All right, let me just uh, use my fire shield here. Oh, my goodness. I can dual wield shields. That is epic. All right, let me just, uh, just, let me, let me just burn a few of these zombies real quick. All right, you guys doing okay over there? All right, let me just, uh, start you guys burning again. Can you just walk into me? Thank you. Thank you, much appreciated. All right, these guys are lighting themselves up. Okay, skeleton. All right, skeleton, you want to keep hitting me with arrows? I'm going to hit you back with your own arrows. Shoot me, yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't shoot me. He missed, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you wouldn't shoot. Did he miss again? Uh, hello? Okay, we're back, and just to show you guys again, look at this, look at, look at this, guys. You can have skeletons are firing at you, and the arrow's just gonna hit it back, hit them back in the face. Like, literally, 100% chance of hitting them back in the face, and these skeletons, like, you can just stand here, and the skeletons are going to keep shooting at you and kill themselves. It's almost as funny as the fire thing. Actually, it is, it's actually might be funnier. Look at these guys, like, they literally just, like, let me shoot myself. Okay, yep, and the skeleton, and, okay, one more shot, and I reckon this, okay. Wow, he missed. Really, really awesome shield. Let's go ahead and check out our next shield, which is the Living we uh, living Weed Wood Shield. I actually don't know what this one does. Um, let's get rid of this shield real quick. What is this? Oh my, wait a minute. This thing has a face. That's creepy. Well, I guess it says it's... Wait, did you hear that? Was that the shield that made that sound? That's weird. So this shield is supposed to be living. I actually don't know what this one does. So let's go ahead and spawn one of these guys in. Bang. All right, what does this thing do? Oh, wrong shield. Wrong shield. Living Wormwood shield. What does this do? Is this... Oh, wait. Hold up. Did that actually... Oh, my goodness, guys. This one shoots... Hold up. It shoots like little... It shoots doo-doo at the... Is that poop that's coming out of its mouth? Look at that, guys. It shoots doo-doo at the end of it. My shield has aimbot, guys. You don't even need a bow. This shield is living and will go ahead and kill the enemies for you. So let's go ahead, bring the shield out here, guys. Ready? And look at this. 
Is it gonna is it gonna shoot? Oh, there we go. It's coming at us. Look at that, guys. It shoots like doo-doo or like something or at it. I don't know. What if, I don't think trees have doo-doo. It's probably like some sort of seed or something, but you guys can see, look at that. I'm gonna 1v1 this skeleton and I'm never gonna miss because my shield is literally got aimbot, guys. <laughs> this is epic! And no arrows are gonna hit me either. Alright, how many more shots is it gonna take? Come on, come on. Mr. Skeleton, I don't think you understand. You're fighting a living shield right now. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Well, doesn't matter because I've got a super-powered shield. All right. <laughs> there we go. He's finally dead, yeah, guys. So, you know, it's probably not the most effective strategy to kill your enemies, but if you don't like using a sword, it works. It definitely works. Now, our next tier is the Simorite shield. Now, this thing is absolutely awesome. Oh, my goodness. Can you guys leave me alone, please? This thing, guys, is absolutely awesome. But we're going to need a few more mobs for me to show you what it does. So, uh, click. All right, guys. So, this next shield is probably by far my favorite. Because you can actually go ahead and charge this shield up. And watch this. Boom! Look at that, guys. I can just charge through the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, my goodness, guys. But this shield is... Okay, now I've fallen in a hole. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Okay, so I thought to myself, it's pretty dumb using a shield that charges into enemies while not wearing armor. So I've equipped some diamond armor here, guys. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of what this shield really does. Essentially, you can come here, and if you go ahead, you can actually charge up the shield like that. Your screen zooms in, and then bang, you just go super, super speed, and you basically charge through any mob in your path, just whacking them in the face. So here we go, guys. We've got a bunch of zombie pigmen. Let's go ahead, charge. And back. Boom, 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 Is that not awesome, guys? If you can use your shield to literally charge at enemies, whack them in the face, that has got to be one of the... This, this shield is literally the most fun thing to use, guys. I'm not going to lie. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead. Charge up the shield. And boom! Get whacked in the face, Sue. Oh, and look at that, guys. We literally... That, you can take out so many enemies at once with this shield. It's actually OP, and it's literally the most fun thing you could ever use. Look at these poor... Look at these poor dudes. Look at those dudes! And look at how fast you can run as well, guys. It is insane. So there's our Sarmite shield. We have one last shield to check. Oh, actually, we have two. We have two shields. Let me take that back. Next one is this bone shield here. Now, this actually just kind of looks cool. Doesn't really have any exact abilities, but you can go ahead and enchant it with something called spikes, I think. I'm not really, really certain how that works, but I've got, uh, I know Mr. Italian, a blacksmith, has an enchanting station in here. And let's see whether we can go ahead and actually enchant this. Oh, I'm going to need some, uh, some lapis. I'll be right back. So it took me a while to figure this out, but it turns out you actually need to enchant a book with this type of enchantment. It's called Spikes. And with this Spikes, you can go ahead and put this on the bone shield. Uh, using an anvil, I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. There we go. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of Mr. Italian Villager because he knew what was going on. And now we have a sparkly shield, which is way cooler already. But I believe that if we go ahead and spawn in a mob here, and this mob comes to... Oh, I'm not in survival. That'd be why. All right. So that is spectator. That's not what I want to do. Let's try, let's try that again. Survival. All right. Here we go. If I pull out this shield... Uh, I think what happens is... I'm not really sure. I mean, there's a lot of knockback on this bone shield. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Basically, there's a chance using this spikes enchantment that when the pigmen hits the shield, they're actually going to take damage back themselves. Now, I believe you can actually put the spike enchantment on any type of shield, but it's most effective on this bone shield here. And it's actually going to damage the whatever mobs attacking you back. So it kind of works a bit like the flame shield. If you put spikes on the flame shield, that'll just make the shield overpowered. So I would recommend that. But, you know, you can put it on any shield just because it looks cool having a shiny shield. But finally, guys, our final shield here, which is the one with the huge name, the Green Polish D Denthrothist Shield, is really, really good when attacking anything of a magic type of mob. So, when I say magic type of mob, I'm talking like witches. So, if we go ahead and grab a witch real quick here, and we spawn the witch down. <laughs> Bing bong! All right, and we'll go ahead, switch into survival. Okay, so this guy is going to throw a potion at us, and watch this. Oh, okay, well, I stuffed that up. If you go ahead and bring up this shield, uh, is that supposed to... Oh, and I stuffed that up. I thought, wait, am I doing this wrong? Okay, this is not working out for me. This is not working out for me! Okay, guys, so I figured out what I was doing wrong. Essentially, I'm just horrible at blocking splash potions. I I'm, can't use a shield properly, but basically... What happens is, is when this guy throws a potion at us, if we're blocking it correctly, look at that, guys. The splash potion does no damage to me. So, ready? Watch him throw it again. And bang. So, that was a poison splash potion. But look at me. I got no 
poison, which is really, really sick, guys. And this would be great if you're fighting, obviously, witches, but also like the ender dragon with dragon's breath and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure that brings us to the end of all the shields. Yep, I don't think we have any more shields left to show off today, guys. There was a ton of shields in today's video. I hope you guys got something out of it, learned something new, and enjoyed checking out all these epic shields. I know I definitely did, guys. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more awesome Minecraft tips and hacks like this. If you want to get this in your own Minecraft world, the download link will be in the description. But until next time, guys, anyway, stream out. And, uh, it... Oh, give me a second, guys. Hold up. And Italian blacksmith villager with the spaghetti out. Oh, my buyer. What is buy in Italian? Is it ciao? I don't know. Grazie for watching, I think. I don't know. Maybe I should stop talking. Oh, no. That witch is coming from... Oh, no. No, Mr. Witch. I'm watching. If you throw one more... And, and I'm dead. Great. That's the end of the video, guys. <laughs>